Hey, Pop Culture Overload fans, Jason the X here, and I got another Marvel Avengers movie series Hawkeye figure review for you. That was totally screwed up, but I'm not reshooting it. Anyway, this is Hawkeye, and he is another original figure out of the line. Not a repaint, an original figure, and he's pretty awesome. Um, just like the cap was very awesome, because he was a brand new figure, he used uh, new material and everything, new articulation. This guy wins it over Cap. Just because I like the costume, I like the design, but, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's go ahead and look at his packaging. So we got Marvel the Avengers. I hate you, Walmart. I really do. If you didn't have Transformers and stuff, I'd never go there. Anyway, you got Marvel Hawkeye collector base. I don't hate Walmart. I just hate that they got this exclusive and I can't find the whole thing. Okay, so. My gripe. Anyway. Marvel's Hawkeye, you got some other figures in the line, you got Hawkeye standing on those wacky bases, and uh, there's his bio. Okay, well, I we got that out of the way. Also, I, I, I remember during this review, I wasn't showing the bases, so here are the bases. I have five of them, they all stack together, this is what they look like. Uh, I don't really want to go into detail, too, they're just kind of lame. This is what I'm looking for. They interlink together. Here, that's the big, that's the big thing. They interlink together. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, I can kind of recreate what. Well, whatever. i maybe for the last shot. I'll actually put them together. When I actually find the Hulk, I'll make a circle out of them and put them up there. But for now, here's Hawkeye, and old Clint Barton here, played by Jeremy Renner, is very cool. Very. I mean, I like this figure. It, the first thing I want to point out is look at the head mold. That is Jeremy Renner all the way around. That is totally Jeremy Renner. I know he didn't wear the sunglasses in the movie, but that looks like Jeremy Renner. Um, and also just great detail in this costume. I'm, I'm zooming in here. You got the nice shield emblem. All that is uh, not paint. It's actually the plastic. Really great design on this guy. And you know the one thing that's really sad is that they never made a Black Widow for this line. They gave us a crappy repainted Iron Man, but they couldn't make Black Widow. And I think something's wrong with that. And for any ladies out there, I think you should go to Hasbro and demand that Jason gets a Black Widow figure for a six-inch Marvel movie Avengers line. Okay, so. I'm moving right along with this. This is one of the accessories that comes with Hawkeye. He wouldn't be complete without his bow. Uh, the whole bow is of, that, of this black plastic that's actually, it's not very bendy. I'm actually afraid that if I mess around too much with this part, it'll actually break because it's just plastic. And it doesn't seem like that really soft plastic you can just bend in your hand and everything. But great design on the bow. Um, I can't. I got nothing to say about this. It's a really great bow. Uh, maybe seeing a compacted version or something to store in his back, but it doesn't matter. That's not a big deal. And on his back, you have his special quiver that he was using during the movie. Uh, a lot of great detail on that too. You can actually see that bottom part there where it, the shafts were getting the different heads there. I'm not sure what this line here is, but uh, it's it's a great looking quiver. And it just pegs right into his back there. It's got a little notch so you can put it in there. Uh, this belt also comes off simply by untabbing it and just you know wrapping it around. But eh, we don't need to do that because... I want to show you how this thing clips up. See, that's why I don't like to unpeg things like that. Okay, so he's got a hole in the bandolier there that corresponds to a hole in his back, and you can just put the quiver in right there. And it holds pretty steady, I gotta say. But otherwise, great detail on this Hawkeye figure. Um, showed that off, but I, if you see this guy, unfortunately, you might have a hard time seeing him. He is only one per case, and that is just a damn shame. I don't know what they're thinking. There's a bunch of repainted Iron Man, but no Black Widow, and one Hawkeye, and one Hulk, and one Loki. I'm sorry, I'm getting getting ahead of myself. I'm, I'm babbling. Because I'm pissed. Anyway, onto articulation. He's got that ball joint peg that's in the foot. So you can get all those great motions of him, like, you know, kicking his leg off to the side. He shoots an arrow, or whatever. He's got uh, double jointed Knee, ball joint, and a twist at the, at the thigh. No waist articulation. 
Got a nice ab crunch, just like Cap did. He's also got that slimmer, a uh, little bit slimmer design, I think, than uh, some of the other figures, which is cool. Because uh, Jeremy Renner, well, uh, Jeremy Renner is known for being pretty buff, and he's actually got some veins in his arm. So yeah, there you go. Uh, got the ball jointed shoulders, twist at the bicep. Got double jointed elbow there, and his wrist will actually twist and uh, go up and down. And on this arm, though, it goes back and forth and twists as well. So, yeah, that's uh, you can get some pretty good poses out of them. I kind of wish we had like an arrow or something uh, with a bow drawn with an arrow in it, just to make him look a little more intimidating. Oh, he's also got a ball jointed head, and uh, but he doesn't have a hinge in the neck. It's just a ball jointed head. Sorry if I pulled him off camera or anything there for a second. I wasn't paying attention. Because I actually do like this figure. He's actually fairly cool. And like I said, it's a shame he's one per case. But maybe they'll change their minds and re-release him and just the ones that were missing. Uh, for comparison, I got my Series 1 cap here who's always looking at the person. He <laughs> it's funny, it's always just looking at, like, what the hell is this? Are you from the Ultimate Universe? Are you from the Ultimate Universe? Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Anyway. But well, that's how he looks standing next to uh, Series 1 Cap, who's just kind of... Let me turn that head around. There we go. Anyway, same kind of scale, same figure, but just a great detail. I love this movie design, and I cannot wait to find a Hulk because it's the last one I'll have to review. But for now, guys, I'm Jason the X for Pop Culture Overload. I'll see you next time. If you see a Hulk figure, get it for me.